Greetings guys, on behalf of me and the My Flight Director crew, I would like to introduce you to a program called FS Recorder. Now many of you guys have that problem in FSX where you want to record a video or you want to record your gameplay really nicely, but when you go over into Fraps and you turn it on, you get lower FPS um, while recording. And this is very, very common in a lot of PCs because once I press the record button, as you can see, it went from 45 to about 20. Now, reason for this is because FSX primarily runs on Core uh, 0. So, I'm going to go ahead, Core 0 is considered as Core 1, but I'm going to go ahead into the Task Manager here, and I'm going to show you my resource monitor. So, as soon as this loads here, as you can see, these are all my CPU every single graph represents one of my CPU processors CPU 0 is really considered as CPU 1 but it backtracks the numbers but as you can see here this first CPU is at a hundred percent this is being this is taking up a lot of the resources and what Fraps does as well is it tries to utilize this core at the same time as FSX is. Sure, I might use the other ones, but it's mostly utilizing uh, CPU zero, and this is where the conflict happens, and this is where low frame rates come from. So, how to fix this issue? Of course, there's always going to be that drop in frame rates with Fraps and FSX, and I'm just considering Fraps because it is one of the leading applications for this. There's an alternative, and that is FS Recorder. FS Recorder, as many of you guys know, is a program to record and play back your flights as traffic or even just as a demo. This can come in really best handy when utilizing a video or trying to produce formation of flight and you can alter and edit the planes exactly how you want through this menu. Many of us have this issue with FSX with the lower frame rates while recording, so we don't want to have to cost to buy another external recorder or to do all those different alternatives, but instead there's a feature on FS Recorder here called Render Video. So once I click on the Render Video, this is for video rendering and it renders it just like Fraps but instead of getting lower frame rates it'll give you the frame rates that you have here it doesn't matter what type of PC you have or how slow your PC is it will always consistently give you this frame rate that I insert here so I could even put this up to 60 or leave it keep it at 30 as you can see I have my FSX resolution here I can keep it as my FS window size or resize the FS window to video size. I have my different codecs used for the actual operating of the video rendering, but the default is fine. A constant quality variable bit rate is for the quality and complexion of the actual video and you can set all that information here. There's additional information here that you can set as options, such as showing the info after recording, hiding playback display, or hide FS info text and menu bar. So what you would do after is just press OK and it would bring you up to the save menu. You can go through your system here and you can find a decent area to put your video file. So just enter a new folder here, call it tutorial test. There we go. I would double click on that and I would go ahead, save my file as a name. I do have the only option to save it as a WMV file. YouTube doesn't currently accept these files anymore. So what you would do is either put it into a converter if you're just uploading raw or you can port it into Sony Vegas or After Effects or any other editor that you have to re-render it as a mp4 file. 
when saved let me take off my NB effect here when saved as you can see that I can look left and right down and up and it's still very very smooth and I'm still getting the same frame rates that I did before in some case scenarios you will see a decrease in frame rate such as this right now I'm getting 14 frame rates and it's going very very horribly but the benefactor of this it takes time to compress all this video and break it into an actual smooth file footage so what you just saw there was 14 frame rates and yet when I when I go back to the recording into my computer it will play as smooth as ever as seen here the tutorial test plays very smooth fluid and it's very responsive and it's in really really nice quality there are many other different alternatives to FS Recorder but I would really really advise that you consider using FS Recorder for a native FSX app. You can find more information about FS Recorder by going on www.fs-recorder.net and I will include a link to the, in the description to the exact version of the FS Recorder I have. It is noted that in the new versions of FS Recorder they have taken out some of the rendering features but do not fear because in this description as again I will have some links to that specific version.